Hall friends. Today we're out in Dixie Springs and I'm taking you on a tour, on an update tour of our beautiful spec in Dixie Springs that has a huge double RV garage, over 1,800 square feet of RV space. So let's check it out. And if you're new to this channel, well, first of all, subscribe button is right down there. Make sure to smash it. Here we talk about all things Southern Utah, like living, working, and playing here. Of course, all things real estate. So the reason why this spec is awesome, there's really a ton of reasons. First of all, it's, a, it's got a really cool modern architectural design, and it has over 1,800 square feet of garage space. Location is great because it's right next to the lake, and you will definitely want as much room for your toys if you live that close to some place as beautiful as San Hal. Check out the size of this RV garage. And sometimes looking at RV garages or garages in general, in perspective, you know, things don't look that huge, but this is a size comparison. I'll leave my phone here in the corner and in Nick sizes, I'm your average white American male, around 250 pounds at six foot two. And this is corner to corner. Look at how massive this place is. So the entry bays are 14 by 14, I believe. So you get uh, a class A motorhome in here. It is 45 feet deep. And the total square footage is around 1,800 square feet between um, the double RV plus the double garage right here. And it looks like Nick brought the piece for the staircase. There he is. I'm just shooting an update video. So that beam that I just showed you guys is actually, oh, and the courtyard is all the way in. Look at that. So that beam is going to be a backbone for the staircase. This plywood staircase that you see here, I want you guys to forget this. There will be a massive iron door over this entry. And let's look at this. Beautiful design in my opinion an architect did an awesome job there's a massive courtyard in front of the casita that has uh, a sliding door access through the front so this part of the house can be accessed completely independent from this but let's start a tour in here so this will be a floating staircase with that massive iron beam that you saw as a backbone and then the stairs will just float we haven't haven't fully decided on the final design, but we definitely decided that this staircase has got to go. Our plumber and electrician has been here since the last time I gave you guys an update. And this place is pretty much fully framed. It's just about pre-drywall. Oh, and also the HVAC guy was here too. So let's start with the casita. This casita will have an ensuite bath. It's a really good sized bath with a sink and I believe, no, actually, you know what? This is, <laughs> scratch that. This is a powder room that's accessible right off the front door. So the front door is right here. You've got a powder room and then the casita will lock out right in this space. So we've got a powder right off the front. And then as we walk further, we walk into the casita. So this has access to the front of the house with a sliding door. And then it will also have a closet and an ensuite bath right here with a tub, toilet, and a single vanity with a window that opens to the courtyard. Let's continue this tour. This part is probably by far the most exciting part of this house for me personally. So let me show you guys how open this space looks. So as you exit from the casita, imagine floating staircase, really sleek, really modern, really elegant, not this, uh, going all the way up. 
and then it will have, you know, for safety, it will have iron um, bars with cables going down and then a similar design across the top. And this area is super open. There's a huge window for exterior light. There will be a chandelier right here. And this is just a really, really nice wide open area with super tall ceilings. So then as you enter the living room, you have these massive windows that open to your private backyard, you have a window up top and a window right here. These ceilings are probably like, I don't know, 25 feet tall. So let me walk over to this side of the house to give you guys a better view. Check this out. This entire side of the house, the kitchen cabinets will be on that wall. There will be a hidden pantry, hidden butler pantry right there. And the pantry is massive. And then you have a giant window, giant center island. There is a sliding door that will take you out into your backyard and a nice little patio. Sorry, there's a ton of noise because of all the construction that's going on in the area. The neighbors are building a massive house as well. And take a look at the size of this butler pantry. Let me turn the camera around to put things in perspective. This pantry is going to be absolutely massive. I am standing all the way on this side of the pantry and if I turn the camera around, there will be a cabinet right there and then a base with a countertop so you could have a little prep area or you could have uh, you know, all of your kitchen appliances you don't wanna have out there on the counter. Sink will go in right up against the window. There will be a oven microwave stackable on this wall. Then cooktop will go on that wall. It will be a, maybe an electric cooktop and a large commercial refrigerator, a side-by-side -side refrigerator will be right there. You'll have upper cabinets, center island. It is going to look absolutely beautiful. We started working on this side of the house that has some really nice built-ins. And notice how this follows the profile of the vault of the roof. This will have a spot to hang your TV. And another really cool detail that I think is huge for the guy hanging your TV or if you're doing it yourself, there is a shroud. So your TV mount will go right there in the studs. Then all the wires will come up here and this shroud will feed them down below to where you will have your, your cabinets for entertainment system. So you don't have to worry about having any exposed cables or having to fish anything later on. So that does it for the living room. Let's go explore the master suite and this entire wing of the house. So as you enter from the garage, you have this entry to the master or this essentially loops around. This is a laundry room that has room for a washer, dryer, and a sink. Uh, so the dryer would go right here, the washer, it's all the plumbing for the washer and then a sink right there in a the corner. Now from the laundry room, you have an option to just exit and enter your master this way. However, you could enter your master dressing through this door. And here you have a massive closet that is also connected to the master bath. Here you will have a massive shower with dual shower heads and right there, this will be framed off with tile, beautiful tile all the way across the bottom of this structure, and then glass on this side, uh, kind of enclosing that area. Directly across from the shower, we have a dedicated water closet, really good size, and then dual vanity on this wall, two sinks, this wall has some awesome windows that let in more natural light. And then of course here we have a sizable master suite. So this master suite, let me walk over to the other end. We'll have a massive slider, which all of these doors added 
a ton of extra expense. And I think, in fact, we actually, that is the frame for the front door. It came in three different pieces. It's just a massive, massive, super heavy metal door. So <clears throat> your master suite will have access to the backyard. Let me show you guys the backyard while we're out here. So this property is on a quarter acre lot. It's not a super massive lot, just given the footprint of a Rambler style house. I want to show you that if you wanted to have a pool on a lot like this, I think it would be still totally possible. Let me just climb this. So this is, there's even some additional side parking on the RV side. You could maybe sneak in a trailer or a boat back here beside the garage if, you know, 1800 square feet is not enough garage space for you, which usually happens. <laughs> so that's the entry to the RV garage. You have pretty good size. It's a pretty wide backyard and it's super private because again, uh, the neighbor's lot varies in height. The neighbor's lot is actually slightly higher. And at my six foot two, this is how I stack up against this wall. So this wall is massive. It will offer literally a ton of privacy. Like this backyard is about as enclosed as it gets. Three massive windows into the living room and then a rear patio. with a really nice amount of overhang to, you know, create a little barbecue area. You really have you know, quite a bit of room in this corner of the house too. So now we're back in the living room and let's head upstairs and give you guys a tour of the upstairs. Again, the staircase, this entire area will remain kind of open. So nice chic hallway with lots of open space, uh, nice floating staircase that looks modern. It doesn't, doesn't really disrupt um, the style of the home too much. And the front of the property opens into a beautiful courtyard. But let's head upstairs. Pretty, uh, it's, a, it's a strange feeling walking up the stairs without any guardrail. And again, so the guardrail that will go around the stairs will be just a really elegant metal railing that goes up and around and it'll have, um, just trusses, not the trusses, but like the cords, the metal cords running across, probably either horizontally or vertically. I'm not sure on what the final design will look like, but this will look elegant. It won't add any bulk to the house. Again, up here, you have to take a moment to appreciate how massive that window is. So that's the front window, the very front of the house. It's gonna let in all sorts of natural light. This place is gonna look beautiful. So we are, in the loft area now. It's kind of a open, I don't know, playroom, second living room. It's not a super massive space, but one thing that I really like that our architect has done beautifully is that the upstairs bedrooms are actually quite massive. So this bedroom has a rear window kind of up top for some added privacy. And then this side window and I'll turn around to give you guys a better perspective. And it has a massive bath that will have a dual vanity toilet and a shower on this side. And that's connected to a walk-in closet. Pretty good size walk-in closet. And then, so this is almost and folks, I'm not over exaggerating. This is almost as big as the master. Here we have um, a little, little mudroom almost area. And then this bedroom is awesome because it will have a slider that opens to this beautiful balcony. The balcony will have some elegant railing around it as well just so you could protect that view of beautiful Pine Valley Mountain. And this balcony, it's actually a sizable balcony. Like you could put some patio furniture out here and just come out, hang out, have a cup of coffee on a beautiful morning or crack a bottle of wine, a beautiful afternoon or whichever way, you know, whichever way you arrange those parties. So this bedroom is also massive 
and it also has an ensuite. It has an ensuite with a dual vanity, toilet, and a shower right off that way, and it's attached to a walk-in closet. Folks, I forgot to mention that this property is available for sale and it will be offered at 1,300,000. Has not been listed yet. So contact me if you have any questions or if you'd like a private tour, if you'd like more information or if you're thinking to make an offer, I'm not sure what you're waiting for. This home is absolutely awesome. If you're new to this channel, make sure to smash that subscribe button so we could keep you informed on all the new upcoming listings and just general lifestyle type information like working, living, and playing in Southern Utah. If you're thinking about moving into this area, have any questions, you know what to do. Just reach out to me. Thank you all so much for tuning in and I will see you in the next one.